Hey everybody, my name is Keisha and you are watching my channel, Lakeisha Keen Saving Greens. I live in the high desert of Southern California, Zone 8B. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I welcome you and I encourage you to click that subscribe button. I will have many more uh, videos like this to come. The videos I make are not how-tos, they're just how I do it. So, welcome. As always, what happens when I turn on my camera, the wind starts blowing. Uh, it was, I kid you not, it was not that windy out here earlier. As Soon as I come out and set up everything, then the wind starts to blow and people with their loud cars, revving their loud engines wanna go by or the ice cream truck drives up or something always happens, you guys. <laughs> Anyways. It was a nice day. It's not too hot out here, so I figured I'd come out and plant some stuff and um, also introduce you to everything that I'm growing in my container garden. Anyways, I wanted to show you what I will be planting today. I have some sweet potatoes that I grew last season. These were some of the what I say. <laughs> Without fail, you guys. That's when they want to race up and down the street and gun the engines. It's so funny. Anyways, uh, these are the sweet potatoes that I got from the grocery store and I sprouted some slips off of those and then I planted them and so these were some of the sweet potatoes that were uh, that are harvested from that and so i'm going to plant these in this container here and then in this container and you see i already have the water ready i'm ready you guys in this container i am going to plant carrots um, some carrots that i got from baker creek and they are really really pretty they are gonna be shades of purple um, and look have like a rainbow kind of look to them and i'll see if i can find a photo of them because there's no photo on the seed packet but anyways i'm gonna plant those today and then in the tire uh, containers I am going to plant out my mystery seeds that I received from a couple of fellow YouTubers. So I have all this planned in this video plus the tour. So why don't we just go on ahead and get this started. Okay, now these are the seeds that I got from Brandon and Austin Beck. And their YouTube channel is called Beck's Corner Garden. And when you guys get a chance, go check them out. They sent me this card with the seeds in here. And same as with the other seeds in the previous video. Whoever can... Give me not just the type, but a specific variety and maybe color. Uh, I will send you, if your guess is correct, I will send you some a collection of some of my favorite seeds that I like to plant in my garden. Okay, and so I'm going to label these Beck's Corner Garden Mystery Seeds. You guys, they have a really cool front yard garden. 
see here we go with the dogs next door barking while i'm trying to record <laughs> anyways they have a really cool front yard garden and uh, a lot of great things planted out there the presentation is just beautiful um, they're in Kansas so you guys check them out and thank you Brandon and Austin for participating this with me I know you guys are just as excited as I am about this whole thing so I can't wait to see what it is that you guys sent me i have my guesses and i encourage everybody else to put their guesses in the comments section i have my guesses so we'll see okay so lastly for this section these seeds were sent to me you guys from rachel from my old kentucky homestead uh, she's obviously from kentucky <laughs> her channel isn't um, kentucky and um, she sent me these seeds because she also wanted to participate in this seed swap challenge that my channel was um, it has been promoting and um, so I'm gonna plant these seeds here these are what the seeds look like I have my guess but I don't know what variety or what color so in the comment section you can, I encourage you to put your guesses in there and whoever can guess right all the way down to the color and the, the variety, the exact variety, then I will send you some of my uh, favorite, a collection of my favorite seeds. Okay, you guys, so I just want to say a special thank you and shout out to Rachel um, from my old Kentucky homestead. And um, thank you so much for participating. I know it's been a, a challenge for you because you have a broken leg. Well, you had a broken leg and I'm so happy that you are doing so much better now. And um, you guys go check out her channel um she has goats and chickens and um pigs and just and her little kittens are so cute <laughs> but check out their channel they have a lot of interesting things going on there okay since i already went through and told you guys what all the different varieties are in my container garden I think this is more of an update and a tour than an announcement of what it is that I'm growing. So I will discuss everything and, and tell you what everything is in case this is your first time watching. And um, so let's start with the uh, stevia plant. Sweet stevia. Now I got this from Lowe's. And you guys, if you've never tasted or grew a stevia plant and tasted a leaf, it's incredible how sweet. I mean, it's, it's almost too sweet. But I'm growing this so I can use the leaves in my teas and drinks and stuff to sweeten stuff. I'm hoping to be able to dry out the leaves and powder them up and and use it and stuff so we'll see how that goes um i'm happy to share with you guys that my husband had started out as a uh, type 2 diabetic and just with changing a lot of the way that we eat and also with um, using less sugar and stuff uh, he was able to now no longer be on medication for diabetes. So I'm happy about that. I am one that I don't like to take medicines. Um, and I don't like to put stuff in my body that I don't know exactly where it came from. And, you know, in the pill bottles, it'll say it's a certain thing or whatever. But how do I know for sure? And a lot of times those pharmaceuticals, do a lot more damage 
other damage to your body so you're actually taking other pharmaceuticals to help you with the ones that was supposed to help you in the first place so anyways that's my little spiel about how uh, I don't like to take medicines uh, but I'm so happy that my husband is able to be off of his medication and that he we are able to balance out and keep him his blood sugar level um, and his a1c levels um, all within a healthy range so stevia i'm hoping is gonna help also with that uh so we can cut out a lot of the mm, artificial sweeteners and substitutes because those aren't good either for you um okay so then next we have the midnight snack if you guys remember i got this one from, for free from lowe's when they were having that giveaway in april and this thing just grew enormous quick <laughs> and there's a lot of tomato clusters on here already so i'm really excited to try this one and there's plenty more flowers on here so i'm ready to try this one it's just taking a while for the tomatoes to actually ripen but they're just gorgeous that color is just so pretty midnight snack and then next to it this really nice pretty goldish color um that's scarlet runner bean and then next to it or behind it that's a dahlia plant that uh tuber that i had planted in there that grew so my hopes for this scarlet runner bean is to go up this trellis here and fill it up on one side at least and then on this side i have uh, these are yellow pear no yellow plum tomatoes and you guys there's actually a tomato on here there's a cluster of tomatoes right there so yeah this is my first time growing these as well and there's plenty of flowers on here and, and the plant actually is big so and then next to it in this one is the gold nugget tomato and this is also a cherry tomato this is one of my favorites they get these they form these really deep orangey gold tomatoes that are so sweet i love sweet tomatoes and those are definitely sweet and then we have honey crisp apple this is the most leaves i've seen on this apple tree last year it produced two apples for me which the birds or that squirrel one of the two i don't know still who was responsible i'm thinking maybe that squirrel that i found uh did away with <laughs> that ate those two gnawed on those two apples and so i didn't get a chance to try any last year i don't know if i'm gonna get any apples this year i saw some blooms on here but I didn't check to see if there were any apples growing. So I'm going to have to check it a little thoroughly and point it out in the next time that I um, take you guys through and update you on stuff. And if you're wondering why I have these dead looking pods on here, that's from that radish. I was just letting them dry out. I'm going to harvest those and save the seeds. And then we have strawberries. Now these strawberries I was supposed to stick in my tower. And I am going to. I just haven't had the opportunity to do that yet. With trying to plant out everything. So I will get that handled. And get these uh, weeds out of here. And I'm thinking maybe planting some flowers in here. So we'll see. And then this is the poblano pepper that I had in the house 
that I overwintered in my house, I should say. And it is doing really, really good. It's putting on a lot of chili peppers. So, next we have, um, this one is Lucid Jim Tomato. And he's surrounded by a whole bunch of weeds. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't see any tomatoes on here yet I also like these tomatoes they have a really good flavor they have black on their shoulders um, and then it just bleeds down into red when they're ripe so pretty and then we have fig tree now this you guys I propagated this one and grew this one um, from my mother-in-law's, from a cutting off of my mother-in-law's tree. And I'm proud of this because I was told that I couldn't do it the way that I was trying to do it and it was successful. So, well, during the time that I was trying to do it and it turned out to be successful. And I don't know if it's a fluke or if you know it didn't make a difference but this tree is healthy and beautiful and big <laughs> it doesn't have any fruit on it yet though but I don't know we'll see what happens we'll see what happens and so next I have another apple tree I planted some radishes around the base of this apple tree and some of the radishes went to seed started to flower because it's been just so hot these last few days has been really mellow though but we were hitting triple digits all last week for a while so and then this tree is four different has four different graphs on it so this one is um the Dorset Golden Apple, and then we have a Gordon Apple, and uh, Anna's Apple, and a Fuji Apple, all on here. But <laughs> these apples are huge this year. I'm going to have to go around and show you from the other side, because these apples are huge. And there's one big, big one over there, but this one is not the biggest, and it's pretty big. <laughs> so I'm really happy about these apples. And then in this one, this is a Black Beauty tomato. Now, I was going to take it out of here and replace it with something else, but I didn't. And I planted radishes around in here, so you can see, like... This one flowered, went to seed. And you guys, the reason why I planted radishes in the bottom there was because it was open space and radishes don't use much space. And I was trying to help keep the weeds down as well by growing something to fill out that space other than the weeds. <laughs> so you know I didn't get around to picking them and like I said it got hot and so a lot of them went to seed and started flowering but this um black beauty I decided to just leave it at first it looked like it was struggling but it actually is doing good I don't know if this moringa is gonna make it let's see It had leaves on it, and when I brought it out, all of a sudden those leaves fell off. There's still some green on the tip there, and the trunk is still green, so I'm hopeful that it's going to rebound. But it went through a terrible shock, because not only did I bring it outside from overwintering it in the house, but I also up-potted it, so it was a lot for it. And then this is a navel orange that I had in my house that I overwintered. And you can see all the growth on it. And it put on more blossoms. 
and I don't know if that's gonna translate into some fruit or anything but I'm hopeful and watching it so we'll see and then these are those potatoes that I planted in here the um, purple potatoes and I think there's some golds and some reds oh, look at that the leaves and stuff are all purpley that's from the purple ones there's so many in here um, <laughs> it's way too many but I didn't know where else to put them so that's where they went so we'll see they're a small variety um, they're, the potatoes usually are really small anyway so it might work out okay and then look at this you guys I have figs on this fig tree now this one is a Chicago Hardy that I bought from Tractor Supply let me see I think there's even bigger figs over here there's a couple of figs there but oh my goodness I'm so excited for those figs I'm gonna keep watching them and make sure the birds don't get to them or the bugs <laughs> because I really am excited about having fresh fig this season and then this is my Meyer lemon and look at it, it's putting on more buds more flower buds and more leaf growth and I have some limes or lemons on here like for instance there's one there and there's more they're just hard to find sometimes when I'm trying to find them I can't find them and when I'm not trying to find them that's when I find them but there are more on here Uh, yeah, so I'm excited about that. Maybe I'll get even more from there. And then look at these radishes. These are the hellstone radishes. I planted them at the base of this lime uh, lemon tree. And uh, those are looking really, really good. That they didn't go to seed yet. Those ones. These ones on this side. I don't know if you can see those purple flowers off to the side there that's from one of them that went to seed so and then this one I had planted some other radishes but I don't think they're gonna do anything because they're taking forever to grow and I have this uh, chart that went to seed I'm gonna take it out and like I said I think I'm just gonna plant some flowers in there and then this is a New Hampshire, New Hanover cherry tomato. Ground cherry tomato. It's a ground cherry. Let's see. Yeah, New Hanover ground cherry. And I'm hopeful for this because I've been wanting to try ground cherries. And now I have the opportunity because this one took. So I'm hopeful. He's doing good. And then this is the um, artichoke that I planted. The seed that you guys saw me plant. And that's how it's doing right now. So it looks like it's doing pretty good. And this is my other Moringa. And it's holding. It's holding on. Barely. It, it's going through some shock. But it's holding on. And you guys, I'm so upset about this. I am so upset about this. Look. It was beautiful. And now it's just dying and loosely hanging here. I had... I came out here the other day. It was so windy. And when I came out here the other day... This was laying over, and I decided, okay, I'm going to try and stake it up. And when I was lifting it back up, I heard some pops, and it came undone. So, <sighs> my hollyhocks. It'll grow some more stems. Like, there's a stem that's still growing and attached to the root system. And then there's this one right here. 
and it'll shoot out some more but it was so pretty and so tall <laughs> anyways and there's mint in there sharing that space with it and then here I planted some other radishes in here and way down in the middle is another ground cherry I had planted two out here just in case because I really want to try these this year and that one is holding on it's not growing as well as the other one but hopefully it will catch up so and then this is a golden runner bean and it's already going up the trellis here so I'm happy about that and looks like something ate messed up the tip here hopefully it'll grow out another tendril oh, I think it is right here that will grab can grab onto this um, trellis <laughs> my nasturtiums is looking really bad right now <laughs> I mean, the flower colors are so pretty, but they're just looking all scraggly. And I'm still going to have to fill in the rest of this with those other strawberries. And then next I have my two containers with cilantro in it. And the cilantro already started flowering. So... It smells good. I can smell the cilantro. But I can still use this. And I probably will. I'll come out and trim off the flowers. And I can still use it in some stuff. But look at this grape plant. It's just one plant right here. And it just took off. I don't think I'm going to get any grapes this season though. I had one little clutch of grapes one little cluster of grapes grow last year and the birds got to them i was so mad at that so i don't know and then i had to reseed these this one is a uh, uh, amarillo tom tomatillo and i had to reseed it because nothing came up just some weeds <laughs> and then this one I think these are the tomatillos growing up this one is a purple tomatillo and over here was another yellow variety of tomatillo but it never came up so I planted some uh, Rio Grande tomatoes in there and then in these two boxes I just put these together today and I just planted a uh, peanut in this one and it's a Virginia peanut and in this one um, ginger there's a ginger root in there and hopefully I, I had it sitting too long in the cabinet I hope it takes and grows and once it does then I'll separate it and you know mix it around in the box they're a little bit better but and then we have my irises that showed out really pretty this year for the ones that did bloom so and that's about it for the container garden here I um my husband's baby fish all died and there's still a couple floating in there the others he stuck in my compost but I'm gonna use that water to feed and water all my tomato plants and stuff so oh I wanted to show you this apple and then the bee wants to be right there well, look how big this apple is look at that <laughs> it's huge so I'm gonna have to get it covered up so nothing messes with it while I wait for it to ripen but yeah. And I guess the last thing that I want to show you. Well, I have a few other things to show you that are in the containers. 
I haven't harvested these onions yet, but look how much grass has just grown up in this bed. You can't even see where the onions are. I'm gonna get those harvested and then I have tons more onions to plant in there. Okay, and now for the last thing in the containers. Um, I did manage to get my mystery seeds planted and my yams planted and my carrots planted over here. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And Brandon, Austin, Rachel, I know you guys are going to be watching. So, thank you so much for participating from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you guys and I'm excited. I know you guys are excited too to see what I sent you and I'm excited to see what you sent me. So you guys, for everyone else, thank you so much for watching and as always, God bless.